So I'm in Kyiv today, my last day of a six-day trip in Ukraine, and uh, along with uh, a number of meetings, um, been absolutely fascinating and incredible trip here. Um, I wanted to come see the memorial here at Babi Yar, um, and this is the statue. Um, there's no museum here yet, though there are plans for it. Um, and I'm going to turn the can see. This is we're actually sort of in not far from downtown Kyiv. Um, it's right in the middle of the city. The Germans apparently didn't try to hide their crimes here. Um, this ravine right here, um, and then this ravine over here uh, is, I believe, um, the notorious uh, place where you know Bobby Yar was made infamous in the annals of history uh, one of the worst crimes against humanity. Uh, what happened here was uh, between 1941 and 1943, the entire Jewish population of Kyiv, the largest city in Ukraine, was murdered here. Um, the, the Nazi army swept through Ukraine uh, on their way to Russia as part of Hitler's attempt to conquer Russia. And um, this would be 1941, I believe. Uh, and following immediately behind the Nazi forces were what were called, I believe, Einsatzgruppen, which were, whose job it was in all the conquered territories to find all the Jews and murder them. Um, in this case, uh, the, there were Ukrainian partisans um, it's still a matter of historical record and debate how widespread the collaboration with the Nazis was in general and in particular in murdering the Jews uh, of Ukraine. But there were certainly a number of instances where there was active, enthusiastic participation by Ukrainians, um, uh, which, you know, Ukraine is still dealing with that history. But obviously this was primarily driven by the Germans, the Nazis, um, and so this was uh, pre-concentration camps, uh, not pre-concentration camps, pre-extermination camps. Um, so in 1941, as the Nazis rolled through here, again, I'm gonna show this, this ravine here. Um, they uh, rounded up all the Jews in Kyiv, tens of thousands, uh, estimated 70 to 100,000 over the course of three years. I think there was one point in a matter of days, something like 40,000 Jews were marched into this ravine um, and naked. And the reason we know all this, not just oral testimonies, but uh, this happened all over Ukraine, all over Eastern Europe, all over Eastern Russia, of course. But Babi Yar is particularly notorious, um, both because of the scale of the mass murder here, but also because it was recorded. Um, I have seen videos at various Holocaust museums, very short video clips and photos uh, that the Nazis took that survived the war that show um, naked, terrified Jewish women, uh, children. Um, Sorry, um, it's difficult to describe what I saw in these videos, um, but they were heard from right over there, down at this pit, and there were German soldiers along the wall there, along the side of the pit with uh, guns and machine guns, and all of the uh, screaming and terrified Jews were machine gunned and shot to death where they lay in this pit and then a few minutes later the next group uh, of Jews were herded down on top of the bodies of the uh, dead their dead friends relatives fellow Jews of, of Lviv and the murdering continued um, so that is the story of what happened here at Babi Yar. I forgot to answer one question people might have, which is, wait, wasn't the Holocaust the Germans rounding up the Jews of Europe and sending them on trains 
to places like Treblinka and the most notorious place, of course, Auschwitz, Auschwitz-Birkenau, which in fact I visited uh, three weeks ago on my last visit to Ukraine uh, when uh, it's, it's just on the outskirts of Krakow, which is the city I flew in and out of. Um, and so why didn't that happen here? And the answer is, is simply timing. Um, the Nazis came through here in 1941 on their way um, and uh, they were at that point murdering Jews sort of by hand, uh, by form of bullet. Um, and often individually, and in this case, you know, in groups, but still person to person. Um, and they uh, found there were the, the sadistic Nazi minds uh, found there were two problems with this. Um, one is it was simply exhausting mentally and physically for their troops. It was um, distracting them from uh, their war fighting. Uh, was the second reason, and the third reason is is it was consuming a lot of bullets, um, which they needed for their war. So it was only afterward, I would say 1942, 43, off the top of my head, that the Nazis developed the technique and the technology of the gas chambers and the crematoria and having uh, killing centers, extermination camps. Um, they had always had concentration camps where they were sort of working People, but at least getting some labor out of them um, and maybe killing them slowly uh, via these uh, concentration camps. Uh, but extermination camps, if I were to guess, came, came along in 1943 or so. And that's what most people think of um, with the trains um, and the people getting off the trains and 90% of them being herded straight into their, they were being told that they were going to take showers or delousing or something. Um, and instead, uh, they were herded into a room and uh, the chemical Zyklon B was poured in from the roof, uh, the pellets, and it created the gas that killed them. And then the bodies were immediately um, taken uh, to the crematoria. And so literally within half an hour of arrival at Auschwitz's sister extermination camp, Birkenau, again, which I visited, I saw this, uh, the, the buildings and the, um, the, Germany, uh, the Germans at the end of the war um, tried to hide their crimes by tearing down the buildings and all, but you can still see the remains and where this happened. Um, you know, this was the Holocaust killing machine at, at its most horrific, uh, where the killing was happening at the highest rate. Um, what we are seeing here and what happened here at Babi Yar uh, was uh, the earlier version of the Holocaust, still in, enormously deadly. If I recall off the top of my head, one to two million Jews were killed um, in 1941 and 42. Um, of the total of six million who were killed, um, you know, they, the, um, you know, the killing uh, went into high gear with the development of these extermination camps. Uh, but that is not uh, what happened here, simply because of the, the, the timing of it. Uh, most of the killing here took place in 41 and 42. Um, you know, had this happened, had the invasion here happened later. Um, then no doubt the Jews of Kiev would have been put on trains and sent to Treblinka and Birkenau and so forth. Um, but instead, uh, they were uh, machine gunned uh, right here in this trench.